To kick off the program, we are very honored to have the directors from the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in both New York and San Francisco uh, office to deliver the um, opening remarks. Please join me in welcoming uh, Ms. Candy Nip, the director of HKETO New York office to say a few words first. Welcome, Candy. Thank you, Michelle. Hello, everyone. It is my great pleasure to join you in this webinar this evening or your morning or afternoon. Like Michelle just mentioned, this is the first time ever that we're bringing the East Coast and the West Coast together in one event. Just imagine, one year ago, organizing an event like this could be quite tricky. Should the New Yorkers be traveling to California or the other way around? But look, now we're all together in here. First of all, I would like to commend the Hong Kong Association of New York and the Hong Kong Association of Northern California for their passion, dedication, and creativity in bringing to us new opportunities to connect, to exchange, to share, and most importantly, to know that we are all here for each other during these challenging times. We have quite a full program this evening. I'm gonna share with you how the economy of Hong Kong has been doing at the macro level but I would try to keep it brief so that we have more time for networking and for the other speakers to share with you their ideas. Since January last year, the world has been turned upside down by COVID-19. We have all experienced an extraordinary year in a not so pleasant way, unfortunately. In place of shaking hands and exchanging hugs with our friends and families, we now talk about the make and model of our mask, ways to maintain social distancing, and the type of COVID test that we have taken. Lately, probably more on the COVID vaccine. World economy has tumbled. Hong Kong is in the same boat. In 2020, our economy contracted by about 6%, with the latest unemployment rate standing at 7%. Inbound tourism, as you can imagine, was brought to a standstill. Private consumption and investment expenditure both dropped by over 10%. It was the most severe economic recession that Hong Kong had experienced in recent decades. To stabilize the economy and to revive the, relieve the burden of the people, the Hong Kong government has since January 2020 committed a total of nearly 40 billion US dollars to implement various support measures. People and businesses across different sectors have benefited from the different relief schemes. We hope 2021 will be a year of revival. Countries around the world are pressing ahead with vaccination programs. The global economy is slowly on track to recovery. The IMF forecasts that the global economy would rebound by about 5.5% in 2021. In Hong Kong, with the launching of the vaccination program and the case number largely kept under control, the government has been gradually relaxing social distancing measures in the community and easing the restrictions on businesses in the past weeks. The discussions with other governments on creating possible travel bubbles with Hong Kong has been reinstated. The most mature one is probably with Singapore. The government will potentially explore such possibility with other countries, including Japan, South Korea, Thailand, Vietnam, Australia, and New Zealand. Based on our latest assessment, the Hong Kong economy could grow by about somewhere between three and a half to five and a half percent in real terms in 2021, if economic recovery across sectors further picks up momentum in the second half of the year. My colleague Jack Cole from our San Francisco office will be sharing with you more specifically the new business opportunities Hong Kong can offer in a short while. Before I pass the floor to Jack Cole, I would like to pass on one message. Despite these challenging times, the Hong Kong Economic Trade Offices in the United States will continue to do our best 
to promote the economic, social, and cultural ties between Hong Kong and the United States. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you need any information or assistance. And uh, one advertisement, um, in the upcoming Easter holiday, um, we will be premiering a joint performance featuring three young Hong Kong musicians studying in the Manhattan School of Music in New York and the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra on our dedicated arts and cultural platform. We will be sending out program details tomorrow, so please stay tuned. Thank you very much, and I wish you a fruitful evening.